Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Insurance Runs, brought to you by our good friends at State Farm, only right here on OpenSports.com. I'm your host, as always, Sid Rosenberg. Now, last week, a member of the blogosphere set the baseball world on fire with speculation on Raul Abanez's great start in Philadelphia. Ready, 22 home runs, by the way. Jared Morris was taken to task by the mainstream media for mentioning steroids and the 37-year-old Abanez in the same post on his Midwest Sports Fans blog and even was subject to some grilling from baseball columnists Ken Rosenthal and John Gonzalez of ESPN's Outside the Lines. Now that the dust has settled from that appearance, let's talk to Jared and see how he really feels about this whole firestorm. Jared, how are you this afternoon, buddy? I'm doing very well. Thank you for asking. Thanks for having me. It's great to have you. And, and you know, I talked to you before we started this thing, and I am kind of the blog, the blog is compared to the writer. That's kind of me compared to the conventional sports talk radio host. I'm kind of the, the mainstream, the new guy, the guy that gets controversial and angers people mm -hmm. when people are used to the old, you know, the old style sports talk radio host. You're kind of in the same world here. You're the blogger. You're the guy that talks about what's going on these days, what's new. The old writers don't like that. So you and I are kind of in the same boat right here, Jared. <laughs> yeah, we definitely are. Well, let's talk about what happened last week. Now, you wrote a column. And you really did try to dispel the rumor that Ibanez was on steroids. You talked about the difference between playing home games in Philadelphia and playing home games in Seattle. Uh, you talked about people in the lineup in Philadelphia, from Howard to Utley, that kind of protect a guy like Ibanez so he sees good pitching. I thought you went out of your way to bring up a couple of good arguments why he hasn't used steroids. But at 37 years old, when you've got 22 home runs and your career high is 33 and you're averaging 23 a year, of course that's going to be the speculation. Yeah, uh, you know... I guess probably what's been most surprising to me about this whole thing is my original hypothesis was that he's not on steroids. And I actually think that he's not on steroids. You know, but like you said, when you're, you know, an aging hitter, um, putting up those kind of numbers, you know, I, I certainly understood why that speculation was already out there. And it already was out there because there were actually other posts before mine that speculated about it. Um, you know, and, it, and I guess to me that was what was the most, I guess, ironic thing about this whole situation is that, you know, my initial hypothesis was that he wasn't. Unfortunately, you know, what really kind of saddened me as I wrote the post is I got to the end of it and I realized, you know, this guy who I really think is not on steroids, or I really want to believe is not on steroids, even him, you know, I can't suspend my disbelief just because of the last 10, 15 years. Oh, there's no doubt. Listen, Manny Ramirez, Alex Rodriguez, the only guy, really, Albert Pujols and Ken Griffey Jr., so... To think that Abanez is out of the question. And when guys like Kenny Rosenthal are yelling at you about naming names, let me tell you something. It's been irresponsible of the, pre the baseball press and everybody else that they were afraid to name names years ago. Not until Jose Canseco, who everybody buried, by the way. Oh, he's, he's, got a gray, he's got an axe to grind against baseball. He's not credible. All of a sudden, Canseco's right about everything. Every name is out there. Why are they angry at you? Like you said, Jared, be angry at baseball. Be angry at Bud huh? Selig. Be angry at A-Rod. Not Jared. Yeah, no, I, I agree completely. I think that, uh, you know, I can certainly understand, you know, Raul Abanez's reaction, um, especially if he was just, you know, kind of told offhand that, you know... Yeah, but wait a second. Let, 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 let me stop you right there for a second. I saw Abanez's yeah. reaction, and let me just say this. I'm not saying Abanez did anything, but be careful because the guys in the past that have gone on the offense, those are the guys that are usually guilty. So it doesn't matter to me that Abanez said, take my stool, take my hair. I saw Rafael Palmeiro sit in front of Congress and lie to them at the risk of going to prison. Barry Bonds kind of doing the same thing. So the fact that Abanez went on the offensive here, that means nothing to me. All those guys have done that. Yeah, you know, unfortunately that's true. I mean, that's, that's the area we're in is every angle that you look for to, to buy in 100%, you know, there's always something there, some example from the past that gives you pause. And it's, you know, it, I mean, it's just it's sad, really. Well, I'm going to say this. The more I looked at the outside the line piece, who's the guy from Philadelphia, by the way, that writer? Who's he? Um, John Gonzalez. Who, I never you know, heard of the to guy. Be fair, you know, to be fair, he, you know, he is the guy who has been, you know, I do think that he mischaracterized my post. Um, in his article, so, um, you know, but he is a guy who's been relatively fair over the years to bloggers and has tried to be inclusive, um, you know, so, it, you know, so I have a little bit of mixed feelings there, um, you know, but, but yeah, it, it was John Gonzalez from the Inquirer. Yeah, listen, he's got zero credibility here because he writes in Philadelphia. I, I, he may be nice to the bloggers <laughs> and he may be a decent writer, but if he was writing in Seattle or New York and getting angry at you, the fact is he gets angry at you, he writes in a city where Abanez plays. So to me, He's got zero credibility on this issue. 
And the fact is, when I look back at that video a thousand times, and I love Kenny Rosenthal, 